and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Invoke the Shell Folk. This is going to be our next deck. So this is going to be a heavy, heavy control deck where we are going to have all the card advantage in the world, all the options. And so it's going to be a tricky one to play because the games that we lose are probably going to be our fault because, you know, we'll probably make some some incorrect decisions because if we make all the correct decisions, we should be winning because we have, you know, answers for everything and all sorts of card advantage. So we have a really low curve, which that's good. So we don't get ran over by aggressive decks because we can get a lot of blockers out. We're going to have Aphelios creating all sorts of moon weapons. We'll have all this different manifest and invoke all put together. The top end is going to be curious shell folks. You know, we got our invoke stuff with Targon shell folk because when shell folk says when you pick a card from randomly selected options, we have to create an additional copy in hand and reduce its cost by one. And so that's all of the invoke cards are randomly selected options. And then of course the manifest also, and even whenever you prank, that's randomly selected options. So those will be creating more copies for you as well. You've probably seen Kira Shell Folk in the Ezreal Vi decks before, but yeah, so it's gonna be lots and lots and lots of cards. Um, now, moon weapons, those are not randomly selected. Like those, you know, are the exact same five moon weapons that come up all the time and stuff. So you do not make more moon weapons, but Aphelios just, um, you know, it's just a, a good card at, uh, you're just a really good finisher in the late game. With, with, it's a good card at getting a lot of card advantage. You can get like the life steal to help survive. You get removal, you get all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, that's a Felios. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, we're, we're thinking about for our seasonal tournament, looking for, looking at a couple of different decks that we may play instead of playing Thralls. Uh, right now, you know, we're set on Garen Poppy and Action Shivana, or, and we're facing Action Sivir, the worst version of Action Shivana. Uh, I don't love Spell Shield. I think we're going to send these two back. Yeah. Um, so this is going to be like if we want to play a control deck that's... You know, that has all the options and everything. Want to play a deck like that? That's what this will be. Gotta love Otter Puss against Tracker. I'm gonna hold on to the prank. The prank's a really good way to enable Nightfall for Aphelios. Don't want to die? Don't do terrible things. Ooh, Swiftfoot? Is intriguing. We'll take a loop travelers though. Villains beware. Cool eye badge. You like it? I mean, shut up and it's a fight. strong hand. Strong hand. Mm. Sunlight guide you, my brethren. So you'll never ever run out of cards with this deck. As you can see all we're doing is making <laughs> more cards that make more cards. Gently, gently. That make more <laughs> cards. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Okay, so made him discard a sharp sight. No, I, I disagree, Jack. I think the Sh the Shivana's version is better. I think Shivana and Radiant Guardian, or sorry, Shivana and Screeching Dragon are a better four-five than Sivir and Ruin Runner, or Sivir and. That five five people are playing some. This is justice. You cannot run from absolution. Auction is incredibly good, though. It's a, it's a lot of card advantage, card selection for a two-mana champion. Mm. 
Let's make a hush. Yeah, and so I like I like Shivana and Screeching Dragon against the other Poppy decks. That, you know, like with all the everybody like attacking and everything. Um, I like that. I've become who I was always meant to be. Nothing. Siver Siver is amazing at attacking, but if you're today. facing aggressive decks, it you know doesn't block very well at all. I think right now there's a lot of poppy decks running around and everything, like where I'd rather be on the Shivana side now. Um, of course, against us, you'd rather have Sivir, right? You'd rather have the Spell Shield, the better attacker, all of that. You you want that against, against the specific deck that I'm playing right now. So against us, Sivir is better. You can see why we have such a low curve though, right? Because we never run out of cards, and so the bottleneck is going to be mana. The, ba the bottleneck's not cards, it's mana, so that's why we have to have such a low curve. We need to try to have the mana to play everything. Either gonna take Crescent Strike or the Messenger, I think. One Crescent Strike. Is Probably good to have like a Crescent Strike against a Waking Sands. Wrap them up tight. Can I paint you? Alright, so this should just be game over, I imagine. Yep. Very good hand opponent. Action is the best card there. They had that immediately and had a great hand. Good hand. GG's. Alright, Lulu Puppy. All right, we got Zoe. We got a champion. Good, good, good. So Zoe, Loping Telescope. I don't know if we need Pokey Stick. I mean, they could just have like Fleet Feather Tracker that'll want it, but we're gonna send it back. Cool. Find another one. Aggressive line. New venue, new money. Seconds <laughs> faster. Big mistake. So basically, I want to trade this for sharp sight, to then help out like pokey stick and stuff. No, we'll sit back. Or if you should attack Loping Telescope. Get him, hmm. 
Okay. Not too bad of a trade. Alright, last time we took the 3-4 and that didn't work out. I'm gonna try the 5-5 five five this time. Okay, Zoe's at 4. Ooh, I like that. That's a good card to protect Zoe. I didn't want to attack Zoe into Sharp Sight. Not bad, not bad. I mean, I guess I should just be playing Otterpus. No reason not to. I can see putting the Moonglow on the Warrior instead of on Zoe. I also don't mind just holding up the stress defense. Alright, I definitely really like them completely wasting their round of, of mana, like just wasting six mana. That's great for us. Because then, you know, now we get to reset mana wise and everything. That's just all we want. Yeah, I probably should just block with the 1-1. One, one. The question was, why, why did I just take 4 damage instead of blocking the, with the 1-1? One, one? It wasn't a great block, but there probably wasn't really too much of a reason not to make that block. Yeah, I think I should have made that block. I agree. Alright, now... Are they playing spells yet? Alright, level up the Zoe. Before it dies the challenger and stuff. I'll take a couple mages. So yep, there's that sharp sight. So Zoe's gonna die here, but Zoe did her job. Oh. Well that makes it a 4-4, right? Yeah, so then they're gonna sharp sight. Oh, wait, but it gets plus one with that? No, it still makes it a 4-4. Four four. Yeah, this deck could definitely use 20 hand size. <sighs> Are they still here? Definitely. It's really hard to play. Like, you have... Think of all the cards we've played already this game. You have so many options everywhere. It is not easy to play this deck. It does make it a 5-5. Five five. Oh, because the Lulu happens first, because it goes left to right. Right, right. So the Lulu makes it a 4-4, four, four, and then afterwards the Poppy grows it. They're, like, out of cards. Which means they don't have very many cards. Nothing. All right, too many cards, too many cards. Zoe, I'm a serious artist now. I need Smurfleflex. 
All right. Remember to roll. That's fine with me. I have too many cards in hand anyway. Resets that thing <clears throat> to be a four six. So that's cool. We're gonna go kill a bunch of stuff. Um, I don't know. You. Let's kill some stuff. The amount of cards is crazy. Is it just zero this round? Oh, it just costs zero in hand all the time? Oh, sweet. Never mind. So I don't even have to cast these things. I was thinking it was like zero this round. But wait, they just always cost zero. So I can wait till after we get the shell folks so we can get more copies of stuff. So that's cool. Even though we may have too many cards. Everything's better with company. <laughs> That'll do. All right, one and one. <laughs> yeah, we had way too many cards for Shellfolk. Yeah, Targon plus Bandle City is too many cards. Definitely too many cards. Oh, that was we got Mastery Five with Zoe. Cool, cool. Alright, this is a good hand. A bunch of ones. Alright, so I I do have two mini morphs in the deck. We need to find mini morph for Lee Sin. So maybe I should just be um you know mulligating a lot more looking for mini morph. I'm playing this over Gosh. Playing this over Loping Telescope because if they play the 1 3. Okay, I was gonna say if they play the 1 3, I wanted to be able to have the 2 2 attack against the 1 3 instead of the 2 1. Hmm, don't wanna hush that? I think I can let it hit it once. I think that's acceptable. No obliterates. Blessing. I fight with my spirit. Gotta keep them obliterated. Well. Hmm. They really cared about having that draggling. Played anything good for me to spell thief? I guess we do this. Yeah, the I, if we would grab the invoke, we could have looked for an obliterate. That's true. They play like gifts from beyond. I don't know. They played some stuff. They don't play anything that targets my stuff, right? Like they don't have anything that busts up spell shield. I don't think.
much is gained when we return malevolence. So we're gonna outlast them. We just have to try to get rid of the Zoe before it levels up. They always hit Equinox. was the card I wanted to see. Man, they got a lot of deep meditations. That's probably not good for me. What's up, Lug? Yeah, next week we're going to be playing a lot of meme tier. I have a lot of donation decks to get to. We're going to be doing that next week. to do it. I don't think I can let love I don't think I can let Zoe level up. We can rebuild card wise. Huh. Why'd they give this one four one but then that one challenger? I guess they're only planning on challenging that. Should I just take four? Go to 13. And does that four points matter? Probably not, but this otter puss also doesn't matter. means they don't get draglings. They're not playing Lee Sin. The spirit gives to those who listen. I like them not playing Lee Sin. I only have one mini morph left in the deck. Look! With a donation deck. Alright, try Go Hard Catalog Station Archivist deck. I will absolutely try that. That sounds sweet. We will do that. That goes towards our cosmetics goal. With putting more money in for all these Battle Academia cosmetics. Thank you, Luck. Yeah, it's a lot of Eye of the, eye of the Dragons, I suppose. That's a good amount of them. Good amount of those. Alright, one of them silenced. And I'm stunning here to be able to get this out of my hand for creating a new moon weapon. Which, I guess I could just do that beginning next round anyway. I could just like stun a draggling. Okay, 
Okay, show folk time. Hmm. I mean, Sleepy Trouble Bubble is okay, I guess. Bad choices. The gifts from beyond helps level up Aphelios. The Sonic Wave, you know, helps me kill these things. I think we'll go with the Sonic Wave. other one silenced. So I'm going after the two that are not silenced. And I went with the 4-1 the here because of Twin Disciplines. So like we can still try to kill it with Twin Disciplines. That's why I went the 2-1 instead of the Otterpus. Okay. We got two concussive palms out of their hand, that's pretty good. Another twin disciplines and a gift from beyond. So they only have one card we don't know about. And of course, that's the only card that can defeat us. Sin. It doesn't look like the dragon himself. I'm gonna try another prank just in case. All right, let's make. I guess we'll make Zenith Blade cost two more. I was trying to think of like some reason not to do this. The only reason not to is if that last card is specifically Nopify. But that's probably unlikely, right? Or deny. You know, Nopify or deny, I guess. Uh, yeah, they have 18 cards left in their deck. All right, this is gonna level up Aphelios. So now, round start will create moon weapon. We will make death holy. I think that last card's another Zoe. The dragon lives. Thank you for letting me just trade off these things that I want to die anyway. That I would just be replacing. They're getting the deal three, I'm guessing, for the warrior. Looks like it was Hush. I shall take my own Hush, thank you. Calibre. 
Okay. Time to get rid of... Let's do this first. Get rid of that spell shield, probably. So if I take Otterpuss, we can, you know, make more hush. Or group shot can get rid of spell shield. Probably go with some Otterpuss. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, maybe I should have blocked with the 1 2 as well. I also have a Felios that can make, like, some. We're gonna be making some Lifesteal Moon weapons and stuff too, probably. But I guess not next round. Think about just using this Pell Cascade, just kind of throwing it away. Okay, they got their own Gravitum. I don't really want to make a Gravitum, because then if I make a Gravitum, then we don't make a Moon up in the beginning of the round. Let's take more Hush. Gonna be taking some damage from Lee Sin. Lee Sin's gonna be messing something up, but we do have some hush for Lee Sin. Oh, they drew another Lee Sin. That Sonic Wave. That's well, obviously pretty bad for me. So now they can mess up both of those. Huh. That's odd. They're staring Hush in the face. I'm still going to be taking four. I'm just put this back in my hand. Okay, so now we take six. So I can save the Shellfolk, or save Hush. I will save... Challenger. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Yeah, they're not gonna let me challenge. Makes sense, makes sense. Eventually, we'll get we'll figure out how to get rid of this Lee Sin. Eventually, I'm gonna take a little bit. You love your control decks. This is this is the deck for you. Our 
enemies cannot hide. And I guess they're just going to keep on drawing Lee Sins for the rest of the game, because that's like all that's left in their deck. But no, they still have a lot of cards. So we have to hush, so that we only take four and not ten. We're gonna have one hush. They're casting that so they have the second uh, one for the draggling. I should probably be playing this thing first. Yeah, I should, probably should have played that thing first. Definitely should have played that thing first. With Leeson being From darkness, six health, light. I can't kill him. Wow, what a draw. The scatter pod going and you know getting fast speed to get Nova flying. Alright, so they can't hush. I guess, oh, I should have looked. They only had four mana, right? They couldn't hush anyway. Oh, this thing costs seven. Oh, so I, I could have put the lifesteal on this and then killed Lee Sin. Oh. Man, that's the thing, there's too many decisions. Oh, I forgot that this thing cost so much mana. I could have killed Lee Sin right here. We would have been just fine. Oh, and I should have I should have the lifesteal first. Because I'm not doing all 20 anyway, so that they don't heal their nexus at all. But, so they'd be at four instead of at six. Which isn't that big of a deal. That's a good card to draw. Yeah, that was a pretty good stress defense. That was a pretty good stress defense. So I can... Um, yeah, I think we just throw away this Infernum so we can create that 
Oh, we're not going to make that stun card, because then whenever we play the Inferno, then we're going to get one of these two. Her light will always rise. So that's fine. All right, GG's. Ended up getting there. That was close. But we outlasted Lee Sin. You don't usually get attacked by Lee Sin like five times and survive. All right, another slow deck. So we're just going to keep on looking for answers. We have many more if we can try to find obliterates. That's going to be the name of the game. Look for an answer for every single card in their... Like every single threat in their deck. So let's keep the star shaping because that could be a double obliterate. Oh, what's up, Zoe? Yeah, we just misplayed like 20 times and still won. Yeah, like... Well, that's the thing. It's... It's... It's going to be impossible to make every single decision correct in this deck. Like, yeah, we probably misplayed 20 times and we probably made like 40 good decisions. And like... 50 other average decisions and 20 of them not not so good you know like you, you're just making 100 decisions in, in like that kind of game uh all right i will end round Pretty sure, like always, we're going to have infinite cards, and so reducing mana cost, that's a good option. And we'll do that with reducing mana cost of Shell Folk. Be able to play that around early. No, there's the Vile Feast. You can look for protection with this, but that's fine. I want to protect the Shell Folk. No. I don't know, is Purple Berry Shake good? We can stun some... I guess we take Sleepy Trouble Bubbles to stun... Trundle Trindamir. I probably should have just gone with the Felios and stuff and had them try to use removal and save Shell Folk. Shell Folk is the important card. Uh, I don't... I mean, I just don't love any of these options. I guess we're going to get some... See the trouble bubbles. They're out there. I'll spawn. For the homestead. Alert the village. Withering Mist and Flash Freeze. I guess we'll make Withering Mist cost seven. Nothing escapes my watch. Mm -hmm. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? King of Trolls coming through. That 
doesn't like to play. Man, these are just not useful cards. Where's like our hushes and stuff? I, don't... I know, right? Yeah, I'm... I know, I'm playing slowly, playing slowly. So I kind of have a whole bunch of nothing. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Guess I'll just make that card unplayable. So we could spell spell thief kill the rush. I'm not really spell shielding because Zoe doesn't matter that much, and Annie can also get bile feasted whenever I do the, the whole spell shield thing. Zoe's just not that important. So three. So Withering Mist, Trindamir, Ice Pillar, so they don't have another card in hand out of their other three that cost eight plus mana. Sleepy Trouble Bubbles aren't any good. Like, I, I played the Shelf Hulk before I should have. I should have waited for them to play a champion, then I play Shelf Hulk. I, that's why I messed up. I should have played Aphelios earlier, not Shelf Hulk. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, definitely a deck much more our speed, right? Like, we're low to the ground, we're trying to stop them, but those, you know, Trundle Trindamir, like, that can get anybody if you don't have, you know, like, we had no Hush, no Stress Defense, no Mini Morph. We have cards against those, but we didn't draw any. We didn't have, any, you know, we didn't have any of our three mana invoke cards to make the six mana obliterate, right? Like, those are all the things we need. And so I, I should have mulliganed more, and I should have protected my Shell Folk better. So we, I could have done a, a couple of different things uh, better. I kept like a whole bunch of like ones and stuff, I think, with my mulligan. I think I could have mulligan looking for obliterates and mini morphs more than what I did. Mini Morph, you would have been so good last round. There wasn't really too much reason for me to play the Zoe on one like I did. Especially after drawing that Pill Cascade that 
punish me for doing that. Kind of moon weapon we want. Like I'm not going to be using this moon weapon for a minute. Guess I'll take Severum. Because I'm planning on playing the Shellfolk next round. And then with Shell Folk, we can like super cool star chart. Wow. Alright, not bad. Got a harpoon out of hand. Not bad, not bad. So we got Mega Rain. Yeah, so we, we could grab Mega Rain with that or Parlay. Or, of course, the Harpoon. I think those are our three options. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Let's take a guy. Leverage the large body. My life or theirs. All or nothing. It ends in silence. Oh, you did go to Felios. We got we got your backup. Coming in here late to. That's three mana. If I play Mega Rain, Mega Rain, that's three mana. We have four left. Three out of five, eh? Let's go lifesteal. That's not a good sign. Everything. So Shuffle turns into a 5 3 lifesteal. They didn't do any Nexus damage with all that. That was a lot of cards, there was very little lifesteal, or very little Nexus damage. Which is good, which is good.
Hmm. Alright, feeling pretty good about this. Shellfolk definitely did awesome. Came a long way from bullet. Alright, got them down to six. And this gameplay's still a little ways away from leveling up. I'm always up for a round or two. Alright, going blue card. We'd have many more for Gangplank if we need it, but I don't think we'll need that. Doing pretty good here. Rambunctious fool. No, no. I kind of felt like they had another game plank in hand for how they were playing, which is one reason why they wanted many more fucking plank. Felt like that another one. Three, six, eleven. I'm gonna wait on you, Charger. Ooh, that's a good draw. That's a good draw. Okay, you're gonna only have four. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright, so this thing has, like, with the impact of this, that this thing has, um, that means it deals, the impact deals the damage, so with it having lifesteal, it's going to deal damage with the lifesteal. Alright, there we go. That will do. So it's doing the same amount as the Shell Folk, but then I don't have to worry about getting the Shell Folk into combat. All right, so another 3-2 with Invoke the Shellfolk. You know, we lost to the deck that went really big with the Trundle Trindamir deck, which I actually think that we would probably do pretty good over the long haul against Trundle Trindamir. I didn't have the best hand. I don't think I mulliganed correctly, right? You just have to find enough mini morphs and obliterates between your Priestess, Star Shaping, mini morph, that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I didn't. I didn't. Um, you know, you can also, like, Spell Thief someone like their Frostbite or something, you know. I didn't have the, the best hand. I didn't. I didn't play very well with that game. Also, we. It was right after like the super long Lee Sin game, and I kind of let my guard down for that game. And we even have like stress defenses that are great against Trindamir and stuff. So, um, I don't necessarily think that was a bad matchup, but I lost it. Um, but yeah, you see that if this is a a fun deck to play because you are playing cards all the time. It's it's a think a thinker man's deck, right? You're gonna be thinking a lot. You're gonna be playing lots of stuff. Um, you know, you're not going to, you're, you're going to make mistakes. It's, it's going to happen because you're making so many uh, plays that it's just bound, you're bound to make mistakes. Um, but I like how it's like we saw there against like that last deck and, and just in general against like the lower cost decks, like you can, you have a low curve that you can keep up with the aggro decks. Um, and then you're able to, you know, have like your awesome top end. And so like, that's a good combination, but you know, sometimes people that have just, you know, all top end, they don't care about any of your low stuff at all. Um, all your anti-aggro low stuff and your small units and stuff like that, they don't really do very much against your Trundle Trindamir. You only have a small subsect of cards that matter, and if you don't find them, uh, you'll struggle. So, uh, anyway, so that's Invoke the Shellfolk with Zoe, Aphelios, and Curious Shellfolk. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. If you're somebody that loves control decks and love just playing tons and tons of cards, uh, you know, this is probably the deck for you. 
try it out. Let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully you enjoy it. But that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.